Welcome back guys, this is part 2 of the DDS tutorial and this is going to be all the textures and all the bumping and all the uh, all the cool stuff, all the lighting and all that. So what you want to start out doing is creating a floor and you see that the DDS is below the floor which we are going to fix. Pull all this stuff into the into the DDS full that we didn't get last time. Pull that under there again, sorry. Okay, so we got our DDS full, all that. Now you just want to pull it above the floor itself. And the next thing we're going to do is do the lighting. So you will click on your four, go to your top view, click on the lights, go here, and go over, and back a little bit more. You want to go over to this view and just pull it up above the DDS itself. And you want to go to the light, color, and I like to make it just like a soft beige or something just because that's more realistic. Nothing's perfectly white in real life. And you want to go to shadow, soft, then copy it. Pull it all the way over. Copy, this. copy it one more time. <clears throat> Bring it to the center. Bring it back and then up. What you want to do with this one is you want to bring the brightness intensity down to 20 or something and copy it one more time. I don't know where it is right now, but we can fix where that is. You want to go here and you just want to pull it sort of, sort of behind it. Yeah, so like that and then boost it up to like 50 because you don't want anything to be just completely dark behind your object itself. So right now it's actually looking pretty sweet and all that without all the textures. The one thing you want to do before you start moving your camera and all that is create a camera so you can just move around all you want just fling straight back into your camera into the view you like for your render settings and all that. So to start off we're just going to do the DDS part of it, the uh, Dragon Super Poison part which is actually a preset in Cinema 4D. I actually like it that anything I could ever make it's in liquid, it's called olive oil. And I do a couple changes to it, which is in reflection or transparency. I change the refraction to 2.1, 2.1. And I change the color to white. And then I turn the brightness up a little bit. A reflection I turn up more just because this looks nicer and I change it to object soft shadow and then we can throw that onto here as you will see that looks pretty sweet now the next thing would be is just to uh, create a new material make it object soft shadow go into the color and make it a dark red I tried to mess around with all the uh, all the settings for what was it for all these textures and stuff but none of them looked really cool besides noise which I guess we could do <clears throat> go to the noise and you can pick your favorite in here I usually like just random ones and you pick uh, one color and then you pick a second color uh, this one will be darker and this one will be lighter just so you get kind of like a texture on it and specular you want just just enough so you can see a little white on the side of it. Uh, that's just what I do. And then you want to go to bump, texture, surfaces, and pavement. Now you just want pavement enough so you can see it on the side of here. If you need to you can turn specular up and change the width to a little bit higher because that's what metal is. It has a little bit higher. And you can just change your bump a little bit more down. And then you pull this onto the blade itself. So right now, let me see if it'll render. It's looking pretty sweet there. Just looking like a DDS and all, all that stuff. So the next we're going to do this part, which I actually, the DDS is a little bit below here. So I do need to fix that. So where is it? Where is it? DDS blade. Pull that up a little bit. But didn't just mess up the nope didn't mess it up sweet okay so we can go back into our camera and for the floor pretty much you just go into the color and change it to a dark gray 
whatever. Doesn't really matter what color you make it. Uh, so, no, we just have this. Which I didn't mess that up. <laughs> Sorry. Let me fix this really quick. Oh, that's why. It's because I changed the color of it. Um, color on a different one. Changed it to dark gray. That was really stupid of me. Sorry. And then you should have this. Yeah. That looks a lot nicer. Alright. Now, just copy your dragon texture for the DDS. And you want to go into the textures for the bump. And change the texture. You want to change that to cloud. And you want to turn that down to like 17, 15. Doesn't really matter. Depends on how much uh, you want this to be. It's going to be gold. So you want to make it a dark brownish. And then go into here. And it's going to be the darker texture. So in between that. So kind of like that. And one of these. Kind of like that. Then for reflection. I'm going to do this word. I really don't want to pronounce it. So. Because I'll probably do it wrong. And put that onto both of these. Which we do need to change the dragon's texture really quick. We need to add a reflection. Which is pretty much just going to be the same thing. This word. Turn this down to 15. Turn this down to like 25 or something. Okay. So that looks like this right now. And then for these little things, what I like to do is just copy your gold texture. I'm going to go into your bump, texture surfaces, and then go to water. And then turn that up a bunch. And then you want to go to reflection. You want to turn it down just so it exists, but it's not really that dramatic. And you want to go into your color, change this one to a dark gray, and turn this one to almost black. You never want it to be completely black. And then you want to pull that over to your cloner. So right now you have this. And then just copy that texture and you want to change this to a light gray. And almost perfectly white. And then you want to put that on your cylinder. This is my first tutorial in a while guys. So if I'm going too fast just tell me in the comments and all that. You want to copy your liquid. This is going to be for the little gem at the bottom. You want to change the color to like red to match your DDS. So I'll go to color and just change it to like a red. And go into the absorption color. Change that to like a deep red. Actually, I want to make that a light red. So it gives it kind of like the, the gem color. Change this to be a little bit higher. And for the bump, you want to turn that off. And then specular color, you want that off. And you just pull that strand of here. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much just the DDS itself. I think it looks pretty sweet right now. It's cooler than the one I used in uh, Chris Archie's intro, which I'll put a link to right now. I'll keep updating that as I update uh, the intro. Because I don't want to I don't want to keep doing stuff to it. And then try to go enter it and it's already over. So every time I change something dramatic, I usually just update it on my YouTube channel. And you can just come back to here and click on that link. Or you can go to his video, which I'll put an annotation here. And uh, yeah, guys. So I'm going to shoot for something really high. But since this uh, did take a long time, as you see, not really a long time for a model. But uh, just, just the tutorial itself. After, I think, 300 likes, um, I'm thinking about putting a download link up. Uh, I don't suggest you guys actually use it. Try to change up some stuff in it. Uh, just use it as a, as a template for yourself. But uh, I want you guys to create your own. Create to make a video response. Show me what you guys did. Just even if, it's a pic even if it's a picture, do some intros that you did with them. I just want to see what you guys are doing with this. So yeah guys, uh, thanks for watching and uh, stop back for more tutorials and stuff. Bye.